Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're going to continue our beloved Rise of the Robots campaign. It is time for an operation in South Africa, Operation Purple Fog, where we are getting much needed intel and supplies. It's a neutralized the dark VIP mission, but of course we're going to capture him because we want to get that sweet, sweet intel. The cool part about all of that is we can just use our injured spark without um, any concerns and if i haven't pointed out enough how great sparks are this is yet another great feature of uh, theirs they can simply uh, re-engage in combat the second uh, that a new mission pops up there is no such thing as being tired here or being shaken or whatever that's just not a thing Quite the opposite. They are ready to go and eager to serve you. And that's pretty much what they are doing. Wonderful. Good. Let's get the utility items and weapons ready. I would say we're taking blue screen rounds here. Very good. Mimic Beacon and Battle Scanner. Let's use this improvised weapon. That is fine. Gotta fix Sonar. I don't like the way that he appears with that uh, spe uh, special helmet. That's a helmet which is exclusively reserved once you've killed the Archon King. Can't just have that. Instead, let's make him a Celtic Warrior. I like it. Gives him the appeal of a Nordic Celtic warrior. Anyways, I was saying Vector and the Spark 002, so Secundus, are both going to lead the charge. Uh, Roby is unfortunately not yet going to be able to join us. And that is pretty much it. Hogbite is still in the map bay as well. And we are off for yet another exciting mission. I love sparks in a city environment because they always get the high ground. Wonderful. Good, and we just landed. Yeah, that's more a scratch than a real wound on our spark. Still has more hit points than before. Effective hit points that is because it has more armor. Yeah, they get pretty tanky for armor with their final equipment i like that so we got the dark vip over here and we need to get out over here 12 rounds and since it's medium difficulty i would suggest probably looking at anywhere between 12 and 15 enemies let's take a peek All right, got the first enemy patrol over there. Same deal over here. And in terms of effectively moving somewhere. Oh yeah, the spark provides cover. I forgot about that, nice. So we can actually take that spot. Moving up to the corner. Toxic Roger takes that. some high ground here. And Hung takes uh, the full cover over here. Got it covered. Good, we see another pack down here. So far the packs are tame, I should say. Nothing that we could not handle. If we were to hack, Security what would be the reward? Just double checking. Not too bad. Probably not good enough for a 20% chance, but still okay.
Good. We know all three of them are here. Could theoretically engage them. But I don't want to do that yet. Want to use our concealment. over here yeah that's pretty much it any other way to get up there oh yeah there's another one up here okay cool I like the idea of the high ground Will do. good two very aggressive moves which essentially allowed us afterward or will allow us afterwards to take it a bit slower Ten rounds. Let's see. Just out of curiosity. That wouldn't be too bad. Good, we see another pack down there. Unfortunately, our way up here is completely blocked. So I'm wondering, I mean, of course, we could you take the big fat nuclear bomb and get all three of them. Plus, let them fall down. Might not be needed. We can use the Mimic Beacon and pull both of the packs. I think we're strong enough to do that. Overdriving. So that we do have a shot afterwards. This here will trigger their attention. And also let them fall down, of course. Pretty solid damage. Good, they are swarming. Just like we expected them to do. Let's get the shield bearer. Good. No extra hit points. Wonderful. Love it. And let's maybe use the other explosives liberally for now. 
take out their cover which this will do <laughs> okay good we got a lot of insured kills this year is an advanced stock aka 100% kill for the viper got another mimic beacon over here that's important can we yeah we could flank him over here seven to nine and that'll be two four six seven yeah that's a kill Wonderful, which brings us to this poor schmuck who also dies. He's down to four hit points. Like I said, let's liberally use our grenades for cover removal. Well, there we go. Don't even need to use our teamwork ability. We're flanking and that should be a kill. Well, of course, it's a dodge. Hmm, so much for all using all of the shredder. But that's okay. We'll get it. We can still use the uh, sparks because both of them can shred quite well. The guy should very soon be toast. That's one of the elders chosen, and it's not gonna make things easy on us. Let's try to take care of it as quickly as possible. Oh, stasis. Cute. Can't do much against stasis, but yeah, it's just merely a hindrance at best. It's delaying the inevitable. Or as the Borg would say, resistance is futile. The rookies are coming. Alright, maybe not that futile. Moving up for a sweet, sweet Alarium core. Moving into full cover without triggering anything. So that's the clear sign to then go. Hunk over here, moves up and Vector does what a good spark would do. She's standing right next to that fool and overwatching. He cannot directly use his stupid stasis again. So he's going to move and he's going to die. Nice little shot in, in his back. Eight rounds. Heading there now. Closing on target position now. 
Let's catch up with the rest of the team. Good, we got plenty of time. No, no need to sweat or go too fast. Reloading. Overwatch, reloading, Overwatch, Overwatch, and let's hope that this guy is going to just move into our trap. All right, he moved away. Fair enough. As soon as we're knocking him unconscious, reinforcements will appear. Needless to say that I do not want that to happen. To so we're going to wait with knocking him unconscious as long as possible. Little pro tip to manage the timer more efficiently. Where do we... Oh, we gotta extract him to there. Alright, Sonar still gets the high ground. We know he's up there. Okay, fair enough. Overwatch, Overwatch. Overwatch, Overwatch, absolute Overwatch galore. Well, it was fun while it lasted. See you later, Chosen. Good, apparently he wants to be a little wimp who isn't willing to fight. That is fine. On a timed mission, I don't need to absolutely run into him. But since he finally decides to grow a pair of balls, he might as well come at us. Come on. You should know that by now, Commander. That's one of the chosen. Heads up. Better get ready. Things are about to get even more lively around here. I'll get him next time. Boy, you know what would be absolutely fantastic? If we were to hit our overwatch shots. I know. Well, thanks for the great action economy, I suppose. Advanced stock? Yeah, he has it. Okay, so we can kill this guy. Let's make sure that we teach him a lesson, shall we? Mainly for being kind of a dick. Okay. 
Fair enough. I respect that. Moving as close as we can. And let's try this again. Very nice. Okay, that works much better. Good, we're putting down the VIP. I'll pick it up in a second. Just gotta kill this guy here real quick. Oh, I forgot he had one arm more. Mm, my bad. Twenty one percent. Wow, that is low. Well, unfortunately, we're not all sparks. Let's get this guy down. Advanced conditioning is nice, that's two extra hit points. Good, how about we reload an overwatch? 20% and he gains armor from it. It's not a convincing outlook, really. Can't kill him this round. Don't want to use the Mimic Beacon. Can use that next turn. Alright, reload overwatch it is. A lot of hit points that they are dropping. But we do have blue screen rounds, so, sh so we should be able to deal with them. First shot is a direct hit. <laughs> the second shot is a direct execution. That's what I'm talking about. Rookies for the win. Why don't you pick on someone your own size? Time to move. What exactly is he trying to do? Acting like a fool. Acting like a fool. Okay, let's start with our max up here. Still a 75% chance to hit him. Lovely. That's a hit right there. Let's reload. This here will give us a proximity bonus and flank at the same time. Let's kill this guy first. Very nice. Let's continue to give him the chance to hit with a flanking bonus.
pretty solid hit. Now I'm getting a little angry. Oh, no need to be a, a little bit angry. You can be absolutely, really and solidly full-fledged angry. How about that? Good. Told him he's a wuss. He should have just stayed away. I was willing to spare his life. Say we owe our people a break after taking down that chosen commander. I doubt it'll be long before we see that thing again, though. Good. No more enemies. Got it, moving. Circles at maximum. High speed advance. All right, he really wants to get out of here. Double time. Good. And once again, I was afraid when the hunter shots came onto our rookies. I was pretty relaxed seeing him taking shots at the at the sparks because you know what? I mean, he hit the spark for like two points of damage I suppose I get it it is damage and we need to repair it but yeah they are tanky and it's not even their end stage got four turns uh, left over that was a pretty stompy mission very well and the question as always is, did we get a promotion? The answer as always is no. Got ourselves advanced conditioning, which is good. A stock in LRM core, I like it. More intel, more supplies. We got more intel than supplies. That shows you how soon we need to expand. Oh boy, Resistance Contacts. Thank you, game, for throwing us yet another bone. Oh, wait a second. We're first of all going to get the Scientist. Then we're going to get the Resistance Contact. And a new facility will very soon be built got 133 intel holy shit that's good and yeah we're lacking both alien alloys and crystals for an armor upgrade probably would need another raid in order to do that sustenance sphere the cute item not necessarily needed for us now specifically because it's a one-time use and then basically throw it away item more scientists we're almost at well we have six plus two from the laboratory plus one from the laboratory itself and then 20 percent bonus so we're kind of at 10 11 ish Let's get the resistance contacts. And you can see pretty soon we're going to finish a couple of important projects. Considerable progress is good. Let's take a look what the Chosens are doing. As here we soon need a uh, defense matrix. Additional dark event sucks because that means more permanent dark events. That sucks as well. And that is okay. Minor breakthrough. It is what it is. More explosives. I can live with that. I can live with that. So probably the hidden event. Next alien facility is soon going to be constructed. That is a problem. Next retaliation strike imminent. That is a problem as well. 
Okay, what else can we do? We could get three power on the Avenger. I think that is helpful at this point. Excavation still need to speed up. I like the idea of, um, of facilities to speed up, but so far we're still locked in with this resistance contact here, unfortunately. Yeah, I guess that's probably the best we can do at this point. Maybe freeing up another engineer with it. Let's see, we got five extra, so we can indeed free up one engineer. That means we can speed up the covert actions. Spark in one day, that's not bad. I think we have enough supplies. We don't need to scan for them. We definitely need the contacts. I think you will find our results have exceeded expectations. Although Advent clearly intended for these units to be... None of that is needed. ...with any unruly... ...referred to... We're browsing... We're breezing through the research. Okay, so what else? We got heavy weapons, still got three cores, that's great. Don't, well, the frost bomb is okay, not absolutely needed, but okay. Plasma grenades would be nice, but it uses the same two resources that we have too little of. Hmm. I think we're going for school mining. The reason why I want to do that is we can then use the school jack to continue getting facility leads. It's not absolutely likely, but there is a good chance to get those. And that's an alternative of basically stopping the doom clock which is still a problem so might as well get school mining and use that in order to reduce the overall avatar project because the best we can get is contact here but there it's a long way until the new arctic and new australia good there's another facility with that additional facility, we're of course seeing another rise in the Avatar project. No direct connection. Yeah, and it's only one blip at this time. We have made a number of new discoveries, Commander. Yeah. We've made a number of new discoveries. Gets one research out of it. Soon higher learning is done. And do we have something to reduce the avatar progress? Yes, we got, do. I hope we can do that. Recruiting Templars would be fantastic as well. Breakthrough research for what? GTS tactics? Yeah, thank you. No, thank you. I would like to get another Templar. Wow, that's a pretty shitty pro um, pretty shitty outlook. High, high, and moderate for the three categories. And of course, we're finding ourselves in yet another retaliation mission. Uh, we're going to do that in a second. Let's just double check our situation real quick. Hogbite is back. Vector is uh, back. Secundus can be definitely taken with us. And we got spark number three. 
which is also supposed to be a fire support spark. Do we have Roby? Yes, we got Roby as well. I am not sure if I will already take him because he's really literally a rookie and the rookies at least do have a bond partner. So that's still slightly better. On the other hand, why not? Good. Let me just design this one here real quick because it's going to be our new spark. Good. So it is going to be a fire support as well and its name is going to be Tertius the third in a row. Good. Got three sparks. Almost feel like I'm doing more background story for the sparks than I do for the normal soldiers. And yeah, I thought, oh yeah, we had a retaliation mission. Okay, we're at the end of uh, this uh, very specific mission, but we're going to continue in a second or on YouTube in two days with Operation God Face. I wish you the most pleasant of all days, guys. If you enjoyed the content, feel free to leave a like and comment. That helps the channel grow as always. And I see you in two days. Take care. Bye bye.